For this week's challenge, we're using Google Trends as our data input. So if we take a look at this first input that we have, the timeline, then we've got all the weeks going from 2016 up until 2021. Um, and we've got our three search terms. So pet adoption, online streamer and staycation. And these are the indexes for those. So the relative popularity of those um, phrases. So if we want to first of all work out the average for each of these categories, we could go ahead and use an aggregate, but I think it'll be easier to pivot this data so that we get all of our search terms into one column, all those values in one column, and then we can use LODs to uh, work around to what we want it to be. So we do that. And then if we want to tidy up uh, this field so that we get rid of the colon and the worldwide in brackets then we use an automatic split so go to split values automatic split and that just gets rid of anything that's common between each row and gives us what we want uh, so we can rename that to be search term and then we can rename our pivot one values to be our index values so if we want our overall average of this um, average index of this data set then we will use an LOD here so we do an average of the index grouping by the search term and then we'll just tidy that up with a rounding calculation so we can see at this point it looks like the most popular of these search terms is pet adoption everyone wants that furry friend so now what we want is to know which week did they have the peak of their trend so again we're going to use some LODs so we're going to work out um, the maximum of index overall for each search term and then we're going to filter those values oops uh, we're going to filter those values if I show you the filter index peak equals index and you will see that we still have um, more than three rows because there are multiple weeks where actually the staycation terminology has trended um, or hit its peak trend if you like and it's generally around the summer months, as you'd expect, with people wanting to go on a holiday. Um, so we need to then work out when we want this first peak. When did it first hit its peak? And that would be the 19th of July 2020. So we're going to use our um, index again. Oh, we're not going to use our index, sorry. We're going to use an LOD on our week, doing the minimum week for each search term that we have remaining left in our data set. And then again, filtering our first peak equal to the week and we get our first time that that trend that search term trended okay next we want to look and see for each of the years in this data set from september to august that's what we're defining as a year uh, what was the average for that so we kind of want to get a measure on you know is this um is this search term trending upwards, trending downwards? Has it had its peak and is now old hat? You know, that's the kind of uh, theory behind what we're doing here. So we first of all want to write a nice big long if statement where we're saying if our week is less than the 1st of September 2017, then that will be a 2016 slash 17 year. And then we follow on uh, so on and so forth for that. So we have a kind of even distribution here of our um, number of weeks that are in each year. You can see that 1920 looks like it has a couple more. Um, it might just be um, that that's how uh, Google has split up the year um, with the number of weeks there. It looks like, yeah, maybe there's just an extra year there, depending on where you're starting the week, where you're ending the week for each year. Then sometimes you'll have 52, sometimes you'll have 53 uh, weeks. Okay, so if we look, say, for example, online streamer um, down below, then we can see, oh, let's actually average those out first. That would make it a lot clearer, wouldn't it? So we're going to use an aggregate step this time uh, to group by our search time, group by our year, and do the average index there. Right, and if I just go back to here, then we can check, for, say, example, online streamer. We can see, even though these years aren't in order down here, but we're sort of seeing it grow. If we're looking to the most recent and the earliest, then yes, it's definitely seeming to be trending upwards, this particular search term. Uh, if we look at pet adoption, we see that, okay, its peak seemed to be in 2020 or 2019 slash 20, um, whereas this year, gone slightly down again. So 
we'll just filter to these last two years, so keep only these two years, do a rows to columns pivot, so that then we can write a calculation to say if that uh, this year is greater than last year, then it's still trendy, otherwise it's a lockdown bad. Okay, and then we just do a little bit of renaming and we are ready to join those data sets together on the search term and we keep our three rows so that's all worked nicely. Finally, if we look at our country input, our first thing that we're wanting to do here is we're wanting to filter out anywhere that has nulls. So we only want to include countries that have a value in each one of these categories. Because obviously, if we're looking at, say, just Guernsey, then obviously they're going to be top for staycations because they're literally not interested in streaming or pet adoption at all in Guernsey. <laughs> um, OK, um, so this so we want to filter those out and luckily if we just select on our pet adoption one and click exclude on those nulls it takes care of everything for us we don't have to do any additional filtering after that so similarly we're going to reshape our data to pivot we're doing a wildcard pivot on the dash there and similarly we're doing that similar kind of field tidy where we're using the split to just return our search terms now we want to again Pretty similar, we want to work out um, which country has the maximum percentage for each of these search terms. So we go ahead and get the highest percentage there. We do some filtering for our highest percentage equals our percent. And then we rename our country field to be the country with the highest percentage. So we can see uh, that Vietnam most interested in, in online streaming, Australia interested in those pets and Hong Kong are interested in staycations. So we bring those data sets all together again. And finally, we have our output there. So hopefully you enjoyed this challenge. I know it was a bit quirky, um, but thanks very much for listening.